Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Ogden Airport dispute continues. Dash 8 flies on partial hydrogen power. Robinson Helicopter Company celebrates 50 years. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Ogden Airport dispute continues. Ogden, Utah pilots got some bad news this week when the city issued a new round of offers to lessees amid a lawsuit between the Ogden Regional Airport Association. The offer letter essentially offers current tenants a chance to enter into a hangar lease with the city only if they waive, settle, and release any claims they may have related to previous leases and renewals. President Emeritus of the ORAA, Ed McKenney, sounded the clarion call to members, advising them that entering into the lease would give up their claim in the ongoing lawsuit. The issue at hand lies in the city's desire to cease routine lease renewals in order to demolish hangars and redevelop land. The rub lies in the fact that some owners of decades-old hangars own the property outright and lease the land underneath. The ORAA argued in court that the move amounts to unconstitutional government taking of their property, with hundreds of thousands of dollars in value being swept aside. The case has been a running issue between the ORAA and the city, and it seems the city has advanced beyond previous settlements with owners, effectively telling tenants to drop the case or leave the airport. And after the break, NetJet sees bright future through 2023. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NetJet sees bright future through 2023. NetJet's updated its members on plans for the company, forecasting a year of continued growth for the private jet operator. The company noted that many competitors were caught almost flat-footed during the surge in private jet demand throughout the pandemic era, when inventories of used jets reached their nadir in combination with high prices. NetJets opted for new production aircraft, investing in a multi-year deal to purchase more than 175 brand new. Throughout 2022, more than 70 made their way into NetJets operation with 100 or more on their way. Rolls-Royce begins testing on B-52 engine replacement. Rolls-Royce is hard at work on its B-52 replacement engine program, announcing the first round of F-130 testing at the NASA Stennis Space Center. The F-130 engine was chosen for the re-engining program by the U.S. Air Force and will end up with more than 600 units. The test burn was the first time the design had been lit while installed in a dual-pod configuration mimicking the B-52's layout. Each aircraft will sport eight engines split between four pods. Odyssey Aviation acquires SSI Golden Isles FBO. Odyssey Aviation U.S. has acquired Golden Isles Aviation, a fixed-base operator serving Georgia's McKinnon St. Simons Island Airport. Private investment firms Granite Creek Capital Partners LLC and Everside Capital provided financing for the undertaking. Golden Isles is a full-service FBO providing aviation fuel, hangar rental, ramp space, and additional services to general aviation customers at the McKinnon St. Simons Island Airport on St. Simons Island, Georgia, a resort destination on Georgia's Atlantic coast. FAA issues airworthiness directive for 777 fuel tanks. The FAA issued a final rule AD regarding lightning protection on the Boeing 777, requiring all operators of the type to make changes to their fuel system in order to retain compliance. 
The AD addresses, quote, arcing inside the main and center fuel tanks in the event of a fault current or lightning strike, end quote, which could quickly ignite flammable fuel vapors inside of the complete loss of the aircraft. The fix will require Teflon sleeves in certain areas, in addition to cap sealing on fasteners, with detailed inspection of the affected areas added to procedures. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Dash 8 flies on partial hydrogen power. On the morning of March 2, 2023, Universal Hydrogen flew its Lightning McLean, a de Havilland Dash 8300 regional airliner under partial hydrogen fuel cell propulsion. The test aircraft lifted off from central Washington State's Grant County International Airport at 8.14 PST and flew for 15 minutes, reaching an altitude of 3,500 feet MSL. In preparation for the test flight, Lightning McLean's conventional jet fuel burning No. 2 starboard engine was replaced by a hydrogen electric powertrain comprising Plug Power's Progen fuel cells, specially modified for aviation use, and Everett Washington based MagniX's Megawatt class Magni 650 electric propulsion unit. The Dash 8's left engine, however, remained the 2,380 shaft horsepower Pratt & Whitney PW-123. The test flight was conducted under an FAA Special Airworthiness Certificate and occasioned the first sortie of a flight test campaign Universal Hydrogen expects to culminate with the 2025 entry into passenger service of an ATR-72 regional airliner converted to run on hydrogen. Representatives of the U.S. and European launch customers for the hydrogen airplanes, Connect Airlines and Amelia, respectively, were on hand to witness the historic flight. To date, Universal Hydrogen's books contain orders totaling over $1 billion from 16 worldwide customers seeking a collective 247 aircraft convergence. In addition to the aircraft conversions, Universal Hydrogen's customers have contracted over $2 billion in hydrogen fuel services over the first 10 years of hydrogen-powered flight operations. And after these messages, Robinson Helicopter Company celebrates 50 years. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Robinson Helicopter Company celebrates 50 years. June 2023 marks 50 years in business for Robinson Helicopter Company. Founded by Frank Robinson on June 20, 1973, Robinson's goal was to design and manufacture simple, reliable helicopters without compromising quality. Certified by the FAA in 1979, Robinson's simple two-place R-22 instantiated the beginning of a new generation of helicopters. By 1988, the R-22 had become the world's top-selling civilian helicopter. In the 1990s, Robinson introduced the four-place R-44. In 2010, Robinson once again expanded its product line with the five-place turbine-powered R-66. While the R-44 maintains its status as the world's top-selling civilian helicopter, an accolade it has enjoyed since 1998, it is the Robinson sleek, powerful R-66 that is the company's pièce de résistance. Designed utilizing the same template as the R-22 and R-44, the R-66 offers operators increased capacity and improved high-altitude performance. What's more, the model runs on readily available jet fuel. In 2021, sales of the R-66 surpassed those of the popular R-44 Raven II. In 2023, the worldwide fleet of Robinson helicopters eclipses 13,000 units comprising north of 5,000 R-22s, 7,000 R-44s, and 1,000 R-66s. The staff of Aero News Network wishes the good people of Robinson Helicopter Company continuing success and salutes our dear friend Frank Robinson, who passed away at age 92 in November 2022. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.